Hi everyone, it's Marcy Bessaker and I am here to do a live video with you. I'm going to turn on my phone here real quick and make sure it's working. I did a video with my daughter online and she couldn't see me on Facebook so I kept messing with some controls. I'm afraid that might have messed up my live by doing that. So I'm going to go look for it right now. Make sure you can hear me okay. Can you? You can hear me. Okay, I'm going to turn it down and I can see my messages now. So I wanted to do a really fun card for you today. I've heard a lot of people ask me, what is your favorite thing that's leaving that you're sad about? And so I wanted to share that with you because I really think that this is a stamp set. I had to have it as soon as it came out. In fact, I wasn't even a demonstrator and I bought this stamp set because I really, really liked it. So let me show you what we're going to work with. We are going to work with the Painted Harvest stamp set. It's a watercolor look stamp set and it is very forgiving. Um, I really like to use my Stamparatus for a lot of layering, but you do not have to with this one and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. This one is super easy. So especially if you're a beginner and you don't have a lot of different um, items like a Stamparatus or a Positioner, this one, you can still do the layering and have a lot of fun with it. So I added some gold elements. I added some burlap in here that I'll show you. And there's some wood grain. There's some brick that I did a little distressing on in the background. And so this is just a really fun card that I wanted to show you. And this stamp set is still available and I will show a list of the items that we're using. So don't worry about that. It, I'll show it at the end and then you can um, have those available. And I'll also put a link um, in the video when I'm done. But this is only available until May 31st or while supplies last. It will not be available in a new catalog. So it's got some really fun sentiments. Your kindness means so much more than you will ever know. I am thankful for you. Gather together and give thanks. It has a two layer leaf here, another one here, the sunflower, there's even a little acorn. And then this is the center of the larger sunflower. And there also is a punch. And the punch is a leaf punch and it is also retiring. So a couple of things that are such a great set. And so we're going to do a little bit of stamping here and show you how this card was made. And then I did this on the inside just so it has just a little matches the envelope. Okay. So what I did is I took my card bases early espresso and then I took crumb cake. This one is a regular A2 size, so it's going to be the five and a half by four and a quarter. And of course, it's folded there. And then we have the four by five and a quarter for the panel. But what you're going to do with this is you are going to bring it in. And I, I went ahead and, and ran these through the embossing folders already. So let me back up to those really quick. This is the brick and mortar. And I did some of the Merlot, Mary Merlot, in that. And I'll show you how we distress that. And then I did the planked wood. And here's just a quick little list here. So the planked, or the pine wood planks is the other 3D embossing folder that I did. And I will show the list again on the items that we used. But these are the embossing folders that I used. I went ahead and ran them in already, ran them through. So there's that one, and then there's this one. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to go ahead and cut just the bottom square, the bottom plank off is what I'm going to do. Just cut the bottom plank off. So you're just going to have it like this and then just set that aside. And now I'm going to show you your brick, how you're going to do this. And I'm going to pull out an old piece of paper that I have. 
that I was using and we're going to distress it a little bit. Now what I like to do is get your white ink out and a baby wipe. Okay. And just, it's just to grunge it up. So what you do is you just pat it on your pad and then just kind of brush it across. And then I kind of turn it over and then just kind of go across again. And it's okay. You don't want to get it too, too wet. And it's okay if it's like this. Let it dry. It'll take a bit to dry. So you kind of want to do this at the beginning just to kind of give it some stress. And then I take the memento and I use the same baby wipe. Okay, so you want to just kind of get it wet. Just kind of go across. It's going to lighten up when it dries, so don't worry. Kind of figure out where your black is, where you want it. A little bit on the white right there. And now I'm going to set this aside. Um, sometimes I put the, the heat gun on it. Hi, Cam. And let it dry a little bit, and that'll help it. But for now, we'll just set it aside and let it dry while we continue on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere this for now just so I can keep my pieces together. Hi, Sherry. All right, so I'm just going to adhere this to the card base. And then you'll notice on the card what I did is this is like a little planter or you've got some leaves coming out of it and you could put more in there if you wanted. Um, I did cut some other foily looking leaves but they were green and it just didn't really go because this was a little more neutral colors. Um, so you could have more leaves and different things come out as you want to. So I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and put this aside with this for now. Thanks Steph. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how easy the stamp set is to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this under here just cause it could get messy. All right, I've been using this. So here are the two stamps. So again, I'm gonna show you how easy this is to use and you do not have to have a position or if you don't have one, um, that's fine. So the colors I'm using are gonna be Crush Curry and pumpkin pie and that's going to be for my sunflowers and a helpful hint if you didn't know if you push the back of the stamping up stamp pads it helps them open up much easier all right so now we're going to take your stamp and i just kind of like to get it inky now these stamps you're going to notice are like a water watermark water color kind of thing and so they've got some different dimensions on it so you see how it's darker in some spots and lighter I know you guys like my nails look at that Woo, you see my hair I'm a disaster um, so it's darker in some spots and lighter in other spots and that's that's the look so you don't have to push it or rock it or anything like that that you know too hard and then just stamp the other one I like to hold it down just a minute so the paper absorbs the ink and we're going to do one more odd numbers are always good let me make sure i have enough room on this paper all right all right so there is the base now what we're going to do is we're going to keep the crushed curry open but we are also going to open the pumpkin pie now we're going to take the top layer the smaller one of the two and I tend to have the larger little um, leaves right there going out. Kind of go with this, but I'm more concerned with the center. And you do not have to be, and I'm going to show you that. Um, you do not have to be concerned about lining anything up. Now I lost my, oh here it is, right in front of me, my dauber. So what I like to do 
is uh, with the pumpkin pie, I just kind of go around the inside. So I did already stamp this with crushed curry and I'm just going to go around a couple of little layers of pumpkin pie. All right, so now I like to just kind of look at the center and it does not have to be exact. There is no lining up and, but I kind of want my center circle to somewhat be lined up. So you can see, look how beautiful that is. This stamp set is so forgiving and just so beautiful. And I'll show you some examples um, when I'm done. Now, I just kind of lightly wipe this with it. I don't do my cleaning on my, my chamois. I just clean it a little bit with the baby wipe because I'm going to put it right back in the ink again. So again, in the crushed curry, you take your pumpkin pie, just kind of go around the middle. You're just adding another layer of dimension. And I just kind of make sure it's in there. Again, kind of look for your circle there. And you can see it through the polar, which, which is what's really nice. You can see where to stamp. Okay, so there's another one. A quick wipe. Again, with crushed curry. And the last pumpkin pie here. Just put a little bit layer it up in the middle i don't go too much on the outside and i don't push really hard because i really want it on the center and not around the outside and then just kind of line it up again just so the circle's kind of on top of the circle you don't want to have it too far off but um we're going to show you if it is the things you can do so I'm just going to set this aside. I'll clean these later. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to pull in my center circle. So let me put this away. And I'm going to pull out early espresso. I also think soft suede is a very pretty color for the center of the sunflowers. Okay, so this, you're just going to go ahead and try and fill the circle as much as you can. So just kind of get an eye and it's not going to fill it up. I'm gonna tell you that now, so don't worry about that. We will fix that. So just kind of find your spot where you kind of want to put it in. Okay, that one was way off, but that's okay. And this is the point. I want to kind of show you what you can do. Okay. So there we go with those. I just love the set. I just, I'm so sad it's leaving. But again, it is available through the end of the month. Okay. So that is the flower. So we're going to set that aside for now. And we're going to pull in the leaves. I have old olive. And we're going to do that for the base. And I like to do odd number for leaves. And I just do a bunch because I can always throw them in my ink pad, or in my ink pad, in my stamp set for later. And then I'll have them. So I'll do five. And then on the Mossy Meadow, we're going to do the outline because it is a two layer stamp. So just kind of eyeball it the best you can. I'm going to do it here kind of off camera a little bit, but, and then just, and it doesn't have to be exact because we've got the punch. So it's not earth shattering that you have to get it lined up perfect. And once you layer them, if you have one that's off, put that one in the back or under or whatever. It'll be fine. All right. Let me just move these over. All right. So we're going to close this up. I'm 
move all those over. Okay, so now I have the punch. So I'm just going to cut this. When I punched, when I stamped these, I should have been more mindful to put them straight this way because we're using a punch, but that's okay. We can make it work. So just line it up. Kind of start squeezing your punch until you get kind of the area where you want. And then punch. Okay, so let me punch these out. And then we will get to the next step. Because this is not all we're doing with the flowers. We have more to do with those flowers. And I'd appreciate it if you guys wouldn't mind sharing the video. That'd be awesome. Love to be able to get a larger video. I know I'm new at uh, the Facebook lives all right so you're going to just punch them out so now i've got four one more just kind of squeeze it where you want it and there you go there's my fifth one now what i've also done is i have made some gold ones. I just had some gold foil paper in my in my stash. So I pulled this out too to make some. That way I can kind of mix and match and see what I want to put in there. All right. So what I'm going to do now is we are going to Let me Okay, so let me show you the difference before we do this to our flowers. So if you look at the flowers, thanks Steph. If you look at the flowers, they kind of look like they're, they're a little softer. See how this is, has a little hash marks from the stamp set and that's the look. Let me see if I can focus it in a little bit better. Oh, let's see. All right, let's see. Well, I think if it's too close, it's hard to see, but. Okay, well, I guess I can't get it too close to the camera, but this is a little more finished looking. This one is a little more has the prints of the stamp. You can see the texture from the stamp. This one looks a little velvetier looking, I guess you can say. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I'm going to show you how I got that look. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a blender pen like this. And what we're going to do first is just do the brown. It's a wet blender pen and it just helps you blend the water-based stamps so you can see now that this looks a little more blended a little softer and this one looks a little more like the image the material of the stamp so just lightly go over you don't want to go over too hard because remember this is regular um, whisper white cardstock this is not the shimmer this is not watercolor okay so you don't want to do a crazy amount so while I'm still doing the darker color I'm going to move into my leaves and this you're going to probably be able to tell a little bit better so see how the leaf is a little more blended than this one now I'm going to blend that one and you can go all the way out to the white edges if you want whatever you want to do so now if you look at that compared to this see the difference I hope you can tell on camera. So I just blend, and I don't blend all of the leaves. I do some of the leaves, like I'll do three of them, and then the other two I'll leave like that, just so they should kind of give a different texture. 
and it just kind of fills in the lines is what it's doing okay so there's the three let me show you this way those are the three that I colored in and these two I did not so that just I mean you can barely tell and I don't I hope you can tell on the camera but you can in person so I'm going to set those aside now and now what we're going to do is we are going to bring these and we're going to color these and I'm only going to do one because I have the other ones already done and cut out but I just wanted to show you and I want to show you how we're going to fill in the white spot so what you're going to do is you're just going to start coloring just lightly and kind of fast you don't want to keep going over the same spot um, let me do part of this here and see if you can tell the difference on the camera it's it is really I don't know if it's picking it up that great see how this kind of filled in right here just by me going over it it's kind of just pushing the color around just a little bit because this is just barely wet okay so you're just going to lightly and and kind of quickly you don't want to sit in one spot too long it is regular paper so i don't know if you can see see how this is all kind of muted together and kind of velvety looking and then this has the little marks of the stamp so let's finish this flower and like i said you don't want to stay in one place very long because it it but get your lighter spots right here like these two where the lighter stamp, the lighter images. And now you can come down here and color in that white spot a little bit, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. What we're gonna do. Okay, so remember that we stamped the, um, the orange, the pumpkin pie, a little closer to the center of the second stamp. So I'm gonna open up the pumpkin pie, and all you do to get ink here is just squish your pads and then when you open them up, you have ink here. So that's really a great way. And you can add water and all kinds of stuff. But I'm just going to pull a little aside. And I don't want it super dark. So kind of wipe it off. And then you don't really want to rub, okay? Because remember that your, this is not colored paper or shimmer paper. It's just regular paper. So you want to just kind of color those spots in. And you can just kind of dab because you don't want it to like spread out and but it's just enough to not have that white spot there okay so that's what you do there and then you would take to finish these and i'm only going to do the one because i just colored the one uh you, you have this stamp here which is this here hi denise and then I'm just going to put that in the middle of the flower and I just kind of turn and just, you don't have to fill the whole thing up. Just kind of put it in there. Add a, another little layer of dimension. Actually, I think that's fine. So if you can see the difference now between this one and this one. Well, this one is the same as this, except we're going to have to fill that in a little bit more. But you can see the difference between these two when you fill in with the blends. Okay, with these. It is called a blender pen. And again, this is, I'll have this listed at the end of the video. I'll put it up. So there's that. So that's what you want to do with those. So now, once I cut them out, let's take a look okay so here's my flowers let's move this okay so here's my background i have my flowers i have my leaves and i have my um, burlap and this is called braided burlap trim okay so what i did is i just kind of you can pull this apart look how this works you can pull it apart. So what I did is I took about half of it ish and I just kind of pulled it apart and just frayed the edges. So you take your tool, just kind of fray the edges. I just want to be able to fluff them out there and kind of 
There we go. All right. So, and then now I'm going to do dimensions. Hi, Dixie. And so you're just going to lay your dimensions on here. Oops. I'm telling you, my nails are just too long. I can't do a thing. Pretty soon you're going to be watching a video with my own bangs being cut and my own nails. It's just a scary situation. All right, so I'm just going to add several here because it is at the base of the card and that'll work. So then you're going to put this up kind of like a, a window. I just wanted to kind of add some more layering. All right, so what I'm going to do before I stick this down is I want to take my brick. You're, now, remember, you're going to cover most of this brick up. Just kind of get an idea of what you want to do with it. And I'm going to pull it down some because I want to see the wood. So I'm just going to come down here about there because I want to see the wood. And now you're going to take your window sill or your potted area, whatever you want to do with call this, and just put it there. But now you can put some leaves sticking out and some different things. And we'll get to that in a bit. First, what I want to do is I want to just kind of spread this out. Oh, we need to do our sentiment. Let's do our sentiment real quick. So we have our sentiment right here. I am thankful for you. So I'm going to be sending this out to somebody that places an order with me. And I want to get my thank you cards done. So I'm kind of working on those today. And so what I'm going to do is with the memento, I kind of do like to just go like this, make sure it's on everywhere. And then stamp i'm going to be using a punch i just like to hold it there we go nice and dark all right now what i'm going to do though is i'm going to bring back in old olive and my scratch paper i have to say i am in love with these little little pads they're just like the grid papers but it's little and it's perfect because so many times you don't need such a big piece you just need where you're at and i just am so happy with these okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my leaf and i want the one that layers up that has more character to it some more image there so i'm going to stamp off once and then i'm going to stamp just like that and pull it up so the black is still the bold part of it but you've got some color and not just big old white piece of paper right there okay so we're going to move that out of the way and now the punch that i have here is called timeless label and that we have multiple punches that will just work great you just kind of find the one that you know that you're interested in that you think would look good with that image you're doing. So there we go. So that's my punch that I want. And now I'm going to add my dimensions on that. Where's my dimensionals? Right here. So I'm going to add just one and two. And I'm going to put one in the middle because I'm going to be putting this on top of the burlap. Okay, so we're going to move that over for a bit. We're going to bring this back in. I've got this kind of fanned like I want it. And I'm going to add some glue right here. And now I'm going to just kind of put it at an angle because I really want to see the fun burlap. Okay. 
Now I'm going to add just a little more glue because the glue dots are going to go on, but I want to make sure that this isn't going to go anywhere. All right, so we'll just put that on right about there. And then I like to set a block on top. So we're going to move this aside for just a bit. Actually, I'm going to just put my punch there. And really quickly, we're just going to do the inside of our card since we're right here anyway. So let me grab a piece of white. Today I actually went to Office Depot and I had my new catalog bound, not bound, spiral bound. Yeah. So like this. So I had it spiral bound. I wish I could show you the inside. Not yet, but if you guys need a catalog, please let me know. And um, so I did that and also took a bunch of white paper and had them cut it down for me like a bunch. So I am good to go with my white. White is so important to just have on hand. And I love to have a bunch of it cut already down into quarter sheets so that I can just grab them and go. Now, obviously you might need white paper for other things and that's okay. So I like to have fuller sheets at the same time. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to Fold one of these back to do the bottom. No, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to line this up. Make sure I'm in view. I'm going to do the, the bottom of the inside of the card while my sentiment is holding there. I am going to put the tape on one side. So this is just like a washi tape. And line it up on this side. Okay, so there it is lined up. Now again, I'm going to take the branch because I'm also going to do my envelope like this. Um, this one goes with that and so later I'll do another one to match this one. But for now, I'll just show you what the inside is. So I'm going to take early espresso and I'm just going to kind of turn my stamp and I want it kind of off and kind of off there. Now, you're just gonna pull that up and there is the bottom inside of your card. Quick, simple, but it just looks like you added just that one more step, that one more detail on the inside of your card and it's also gonna match your envelope. Now, on the envelope I did stamp off because I didn't want it too inky on the outside. So I just decided to stamp it off um, and it matches fine so all right so now back to our card so now our sentiment is on there nice and tight and now I'm going to start layering my flowers but I know that I'm going to put dimensions on them so I start I actually just put one dimension a lot of times in the middle until I'm all done and decide what I want to do so for now, I know I'm going to pop these up. So I'm going to kind of place them where I want them. I want these to kind of just, just kind of figured out. I want the brick to show. So if you can see here, I, I have the brick showing everywhere, but I just really wanted to just kind of, it's always good to have one popped up higher. So layering it up like this is good. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put this one first down like this, and I'm gonna tuck it right here. And then, and I tend to put the larger things kind of on first. And then I kind of decide where I'm gonna put everything else. You don't wanna have it floating, so we're gonna to have to put them together and you do that with your branches. So I'm just going to put that right there. And I think I'm gonna pull this one up. And if you don't put them on super tight, which I kind of pushed on this one, and that's okay. And now I'm just gonna move this one 
up a bit, like right there. All right, so now I'm going to take my little dimensions. And you guys got to see how tiny these are. Look how tiny these little dimensionals are. They're the, just the tiniest little things. But they are they work fantastic. So I'm going to take this. Oops, so small I lost it. There we go. And I'm going to tuck it like right under here because I kind of want my leaf to kind of layer over there. I'm going to take a gold one. Don't you guys love this set? And I'm going to... I'm going to layer it up right here. Okay, so that kind of is tying our flowers to, or, yeah, our flowers together. And then I go back and I add more dimensions to these. But for now... I just want to kind of get, make sure they're placed where I want them. So what, do you guys have a favorite set that's leaving that uh, you're going to miss? They have some really, really good ones. I'm going to add some sparkle up there. I'm going to add some more green and I usually put like a good let's see one two three four five six seven I put eight on the last one and that that is an even number which is not normal but um, it has so much on it that you really can't tell because I'm you know I've got a lot of other stuff going on so they look they kind of all run together so I don't want to miss my burlap that I'm gonna put on so I'm gonna put some more burlap open it up thanks for joining me you guys happy happy Friday it's kind of weird it doesn't seem like a Friday it seems like I mean my husband's been home he's working all day but it's just still weird that it's a Friday. All right, I'm gonna stick this. And I should have done this a little earlier, but that's okay. I'm gonna stick this in here, and I'm going to pull out some of these. It's glued in there. Trust me, it's gonna stay. But I'm gonna kind of pull it where I want it. I'm gonna let it finish drying a little bit, and then I can manipulate it a little bit more. But it just adds a little bit more in there. All right, so let's see, we have two gold. So I'm gonna add one more gold. And I think I'll just put it down. I think I'm going to put it on the corner. What do you guys think? On the corner down here, let me show you. Here. Or up here, and then I'll put a green one down here. What do you guys think? Hi, Susan. Do I put the gold here and a green here? Do I put the gold here? And maybe I need to add a green up here, actually, because I don't have a green over there. I'm just putting them everywhere. And that's what's fun. You just keep doing it until you, if we can layer these two together, that's okay. All right. What do you guys think about that? I think I like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the gold down here. Again, this is Painted Harvest. So easy to use, you guys. This stamp set is just made to... I'm going to glue this one. It's just made to stamp and not have to have a positioner or anything, and it's okay. 
if it's a little messed up. Okay, like my glue right there. All right, and I'm going to pop this one up. These little tiny squares are just so great. All right, and I think I'm going to put this over here. And again, like I told you, now I can add a little more dimension and hold the leaves down. So I just like to take my piercing tool with my glue dot and put that in there. And the other ones are good. All right, we got our little twine. Okay, so now I'll save this other gold leaf for another time. But we don't want to forget our gems. So we're going to move that away. And now we need some gems. We also have these really cute new ones. These are kind of shiny and sparkly. These are the fun new in color. So this cinnamon would be pretty or the bumblebee color. But I really like to put these gold to offset with the gold leaves. So we're going to add, let's do a large one here with a small one. And then let's get a medium one and maybe add it, let's see, should we add it here, here, I'm going to add it right here. Okay, so there's that. And the last thing, we need to just put our inside in. So I'm making thank you cards to go out for my orders that I've gotten when the month's over. I send them all out. So one of these will, actually both of these will go out. So there's a little bit different. Just kind of feel where you want to put your things there. Here's an envelope. And let me show you a couple of other items that I did with this set. So I've done, th these are just note cards. You can buy the note cards from Stamping Up and that comes with the envelopes and everything. So you can see they're a little bit smaller and this is just one dimension. I just did one dimension, but look at all that detail from the stamp set. And here I did it in a different color. And then I also did this one with this stamp set. And I believe this one's on my blog, so you can find out the information on this one. But how fun is this? I think we'll make something close to this in my a class coming up as soon as we can have classes. And, um, but there's a new set coming that I think is going to be a lot of fun to create like that. But there are some ideas there. So let me show you a quick list of the items. And I will be posting at the bottom of my blog my post my video on Facebook I can put the details or if you're going to be watching this on YouTube I will post the details below where you can get your supplies and what I used so that is the list so I wanted to thank you so much for joining me today in creating these cards it was a lot of fun I am going to miss this stamp set. Again, it's going to be gone at the end of the month or while supplies last. So you might uh, just check it out and see if that's something that you want to do. Like I said, you don't need a positioner. You don't need um, a lot of skill to do it. It's, it's a fairly simple stamp set to uh, use and you get great results with it. Oof, sorry, my, I need a haircut. Randy. Come back to work. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining me on this Friday uh, Facebook Live. I appreciate it. And I hope to be creating again real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.